Good morning friends. Um, I wanted to make a really quick video this morning just to share with you how to use a new feature that's on Facebook which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, now when you see someone's post not only can you like it but you can love it and there's some various other things you can do and I've seen a few people who are wondering how that works and how to get it to work this morning. Um, if you're on a computer it's really really simple. Um, all you'd want to do is let's go to the last post I made which uh, you know I'm excited because I've just booked into a recording studio to do a CD of my spoken word and um, I wanted to ask my friends whether they wanted to hear just poems or whether they wanted to hear kind of a an introduction to the pro poem about where I was at that time so if you see there's a few comments on this post um, I only put it up a little while ago but you can see there's a like here by someone but there's also a love and it shows you who loved it so Elizabeth, lovely Elizabeth Camp loved it and so did Erica. Well how did they do that? Well what they did was they came to this like button here and when they hover over it you now have the option of either liking it, loving it, laughing at it, being wowed by it, being sad by it, being angry by it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something that is probably a little bit funny but I'm gonna love my own post just to show you how this works. So now when it's love, it's gonna show love here and when I click on this, it's now going to list me as one of the people that loved it. Now, unfortunately, at this time, if I hover over the people that liked my post down here who commented, um, if I go to the like button here, all I can do is like it. Um, I don't have that ability to be able to have that functionality on the comments on the post. But I've also heard a few people saying, well, I'm on my phone and this doesn't work. I had the same problem this morning, guys. And what I found out was if, if you close out of your app completely on Facebook on your phone and then open it again, it will reboot Facebook. And the refresh of doing that will bring in that new feature for you. Um, and then also, I'm going to suggest something um, what you might want to do to free up some internal memory on your phone is actually remove the Facebook app completely from your phone so go if you're on an iPhone specifically go into your iPhone and actually go un under the Facebook app and delete it and what that will do is it will remove all of the stuff that's stored on the memory of the phone it won't it won't lose anything that on Facebook um, all it will do is free up some extra space if you want to see exactly how to do that I have a, a YouTube video on that um, what I'll do is I will post a link below this video as well so that you're able to go and do that so I hope you found this useful guys um, and I hope that you will enjoy this new feature on Facebook and have a wonderful day if you haven't done so yet I would encourage you to come across to my new page here which I just set up yesterday um, called let your soul play this is going to be where I'm going to be releasing my CD and I'm also going to be eventually releasing a book of poetry. So if you get a chance to come in there and like it today, that would be fantastic. Really appreciate that, guys. And thanks for tuning into this. Make it a great day. Go out there and create your own dreams and make them become a reality for yourself. Much love, guys. Have a perfect day. Bye-bye.